Now, the debate over celebrating the birthday of the Prophet ﷺ is not new. It has been there for maybe the last maybe 800 years. SubhanAllah. And it's still has, no solution? And it's still no solution. Okay. And it has been, it has not been put into bed as you said. Okay. <laughs> Now, brothers and sisters, honestly speaking, Honestly speaking, and this is now my stance that I declare it openly to everyone. Yeah? Okay. Uh, those who celebrate the Mawlid, they are not convinced whatsoever with the viewpoint of those who doesn't believe in the celebration of the Mawlid of the Prophet ﷺ. They are doing it and they will continue doing that, Allahu Alam. Of course, we cannot tell about the future, but the last 800 years, or maybe maybe more than that, actually, uh, the 1,000 years, okay, uh, that has been passed, and they are still insisting on celebrating the birthday of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay? It, this is history. Now, on the other side, those who believe that it is bid'ah, We should not celebrate it. They will not be convinced that celebrating it is a good thing, is a good practice, etc., etc. Now, if I say it is bid'ah, it doesn't make much difference. If I say, because many people have said that it is bid'ah before me. Has it? So you're not uh, saying something new? Uh, yeah, exactly. And will it bring everything to, to an end? No. Okay. Will it cause more unity or cause more disagreements? This is what, yeah. On the other side, if I say, no, it is not bid'ah, again, it is not in you, as you said. And there are so many uh, people, scholars, etc., who said that it is not bid'ah. So the key thing is, brothers, wallahi, yani, sometimes I feel sick and tired of this debate. Let us move on. We cannot just every single year, is it bid'ah, is not bid'ah, is it bid'ah, is not bid'ah. Let us move on. Uh, and also I'd like to add, It's basically one group is trying to prove to the other group that I am right, you're wrong, and vice versa. And vice versa. Okay. Khalas, you don't celebrate, you believe that this is the haqq, alhamdulillah. Okay. The other people celebrate it and they believe that it is the haqq, alhamdulillah. Okay. I might disagree with them, but uh, my disagreement will not add anything. And now, in fact, the problem is the disagreements became out of the adab. And we are calling each other names. Those who do not celebrate it, yeah, are called as they dislike the Prophet ﷺ, they hate the Prophet ﷺ, no, they okay. are Wahhabis, they are whatever. They are, they are called names by those who celebrate it. Those who do not celebrate, they are called the other people, innovators, mubtadi', bal, misguided, etc. Okay? And khalas, the discussion is known, so let us move forward. That's why I started to abstain from uh, mentioning my view about it. And I started to say, actually, this is my view. That if you don't celebrate, don't celebrate, move on. Okay? We've got bigger things to worry. For the ummah to move on because we have bigger things to uh, deal with. This is one thing. It is causing disunity among ourselves. There is no justice when we deal with it. Okay? And... This debate is not going to end, yes? Because it has been there. History tells us that it will not uh, come to an end. Now, I add also something that my dear brothers, those who do not celebrate, those who celebrate, they celebrate just to demonstrate their love for the Prophet ﷺ. They are not celebrating because they hate you. Sorry. They are not celebrating the birthday of the Prophet ﷺ because they hate the Sunnah. They want to innovate. They want to destroy the Deen. They want to be as the Prophet ﷺ said, "Kullu bid'atin dalala," and they want to be on dalala. They don't believe that this is bid'ah. They don't believe that uh, this is against Sunnah. They believe that this is showing love to the Prophet ﷺ. And Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah taala, himself, who doesn't agree with the celebration of the birthday of the Prophet ﷺ, said that actually those who celebrate the Prophet ﷺ, uh, birthday from one angle, they are rewarded 
because they are what? Showing love to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Look yes, at this justice. So, brothers and sisters, khalas, let us put this discussion onto bed, as you said, or halt yeah? this discussion and move on. Both of us, those who celebrate and those who do not celebrate, they want khair. Yeah? Agree or not? Yeah, from they their own perspective, yes. They want to demonstrate their love for Allah. They want to demonstrate their love for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. So all of them, they want khair. So why don't we focus on this and leave this issue of celebration? I have said to some brothers who celebrate, at least those when they celebrate the birthday of the Prophet sallallahu they so should awesome. not do things that all the ummah have disagreed uh, upon, which is dancing in a way, with singing in the masjid, and we just spoke about the previous segment. The, the, yeah, it's not singing allowed. in the masjid, that it should be avoided, especially mm. if it has some haram yeah, things, okay, uh, 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 doing certain things, and, and sometimes... What about cutting cakes? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, I visited some countries, they see, brothers, this should be, yani we should be careful of this, that uh, the Mawlid day is more important to them than uh, Laylatul Qadr, than, in fact, the actual Eid. Yeah? Yes. The actual Eid, the actual Eidain. Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Abha. Yeah. They are more important than those Eidain. These things, we all agree that should not be there. Okay? Uh, the Eid is the greatest Eid. The other Eid, yeah? Uh, the Eid al-Fitr uh, is the greatest Eid and, uh, uh, sorry, is one of our great two Eids. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ummat al-Islam, we have two Eids. So we should not make the birthday of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more important than those days. Okay. Yeah? And we should not do acts that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself would disagree with those acts. And, okay, and by the way, Many people who celebrate the birthday of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do agree with what uh, I say regarding this conclusion. And khalas, let us move forward. Okay. Let us move forward. Excellent. So just to clarify, just in case uh, um, to avoid any confusion, Sheikh is not saying that he agrees with everything whoever celebrates the birthday. But here we are having a fiqhi discussion. Sheikh is approaching it from the perspective of uniting the community, especially a Muslim community. And he's giving an understanding so that we can understand that there are bigger issues, bigger concerns, bigger challenges we need to deal with. And for that, we have to come united. These issues should be, if not, if we can't put it into bed, at least pause, stop, and we've got other things to worry about. Is that correct, Sheikh? Yes. Exactly. Excellent. And before we go into a plus, yeah. that we should understand that the debate will not come to an end. It is historical. Also, that both they want khair. That's it. And they want goodness. And they want to demonstrate their love for Allah and His Messenger. Excellent. And that's why. People like us, we do not have a good understanding of Islam. We're not qualified enough. Let us refrain ourselves from engaging in any unnecessary conversation, comments, debate, discussions on social media. If we have issues, let us sit down with a qualified scholar, understand it, understand both the sides, and then keep it civil, keep it within other. 